By now you are familiar with the various oxidation reactions of aldehydes and ketones. So in this video we are going to look at a question on the same. Okay. So the question says a carbonyl compound X with molecular formula C5H10O gives negative tolerance test and iodoform test. We need to identify the structure of X. So how do we solve this question? So for starters we know it's a carbonyl compound which means X has to be an aldehyde or a ketone. Correct? And the next information is on tolerance test. It is given that X gives negative tolerance test. Okay, now what do you recall about Tollens test? If you remember, Tollens test, also sometimes called the silver mirror test, is basically a mild oxidation reaction. Here, carbonyl compound is warmed with ammonical silver nitrate solution, also called the Tollens reagent, to form the corresponding carboxylate ion and silver. And this formation of the silver mirror on the test tube is what basically indicates a positive test or a positive result. Now the interesting thing is we can use tolerance test to distinguish between aldehydes and ketones because only aldehydes give positive tolerance test. That is only aldehydes are oxidized to carboxylate ion forming a silver mirror. Since the carbonyl compound X gives a negative tolerance test, we can safely assume that it is not an aldehyde but a ketone. Now that's great, but how do we figure out the structure of this ketone? Well, from the question, we also know that X gives a negative iodoform test. You see, iodoform test is specific for methyl ketones and ethanol. That is, when a compound with a methyl ketone or COCH3 group or ethanol is treated with iodine in the presence of a strong base, a yellow precipitate of iodoform is obtained. And this formation of the yellow precipitate indicates a positive result. Now in our case, since X gives a negative test, we can confirm that the carbonyl compound is not a methyl ketone. That is, there is no COCH3 group present in this carbonyl compound X. Okay, so we have narrowed down the structure of X to a ketone and a ketone which is not a methyl ketone or the one which does not have a COCH3 group. Correct? So is this information sufficient to figure out the structure of X? Let's see. A ketone should have minimum three carbon atoms. So if this is the minimum number of carbon atoms ketone should have, here is our keto group. Then we have two more carbon atoms extra, C5, H10, O, right? So where can these two extra carbon atoms go to? It can add to one side. It can attach to these two carbon atoms or both of them can add to the same carbon atoms. Correct? Do you see any other possibility here? So that means these are the various possibilities we have. From here you can easily figure out the correct answer, right? You see, our X should not have a methyl ketone. So this cannot be the structure of a ketone. There is no methyl ketone here. So yes, this is a possibility. And here again we have a methyl ketone. So this is not possible as well. Now some of you might be wondering that we are looking only at aliphatic systems here. What if our given ketone is a cyclic ketone? So let's see what a cyclic ketone with 5 carbon atoms looks like. So that would be something like this, correct? So this cyclic ketone is called cyclopentanone. But does this satisfy the formula given here? Here we have only 8 hydrogen atoms but in the question we have 10 hydrogen atoms. So we can clearly say that cyclic ketone is not the correct answer. The only possibility therefore is for the keto group to be at the third carbon atom giving us 3 pentanone. Now this placement of the keto group at the third carbon does not allow for the formation of iodoform as there is no CH3 group directly attached to the carbonyl carbon and it is also not an aldehyde so it won't react in the tolerance test. So clearly the structure of X which is 3 pentanone satisfies all the conditions given in a question.